Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, consider subscribing. My name's Ashley and today I'm going to give you tips that I found useful while traveling with my twins and this could help either a person traveling alone with your infinite arms or your toddlers or multiples. So let's get to it. Tip number one has to do with booking your flight. If it is at all possible and within your budget, I would consider upgrading your seats. Uh, for example, I fly usually with Delta and I try to book a comfort section seat so I have more room with my kids. If it is really in your budget, I would go for first class because you'd be amazed at what the different size seating would do for your child and for yourself, especially if you've got a fussy baby on your hands. So keep that in mind. Tip number two has to do with your outfit. It's important, more than you know. The first time I flew, I used a really cute outfit and I regretted it the whole day. Go as comfortable as possible. I went to Old Navy and I found this t-shirt. That's kind of funny. And it's super soft, comfortable, it won't rise up and show your belly. And then I also paired it with some Rockstar jeans, also from Old Navy, and they are really soft and they stretch really well. So you won't feel like pinching around your legs or thighs or anything. And then I finished off the look with some sneakers. And these are Nike sneakers and they are very comfortable. I traveled with some boots, ones that had a little bit of a heel and I, I was so sorry that I wore those. So sneakers all the way. Tip number three has to do with your wallet. You probably won't need a whole lot of space for your credit cards or debit cards. So I used a Be Charged in the black magic print and this is by Jujubee and it worked perfect. I had my debit card, credit card, some cash in the middle and my IDs, nothing else. I paired it with a lanyard and I just threw it around my neck or I put it inside my little baby, which moves us to tip number four. Tip number four is a baby carrier. You're gonna see this in maybe nine out of 10 reviews about how to travel with an infant baby carrier. It doesn't have to be a little baby. That's just the one I prefer. The great thing about using a little baby carrier is that you have a front pocket. And in here, I kept my teething necklace. I actually wore it the whole day, but if I would have wanted to put it away, I could easily fit it in there. And in the meantime, I kept my phone and my be charged in there. And it is so much easier traveling through the airport with it. And even during the plane ride, I wore my daughter the entire time and she slept through most of the day. She slept through security, boarding, and more than halfway through the flight. So that's your fourth tip. Tip number five is a backpack diaper bag. This is a Jujube BRB or Be Right Back and it is in the Admiral print and it works really great for travel because it opens up like a suitcase. Bam. So much space and it works really great. If you haven't seen my video, I'll link it up here so you can watch it. And definitely make it a backpack because it's so much easier to travel through security. So that's tip number five. Tip number six is snacks. You wanna bring different type of snacks because babies, they love something one day and then the next day they don't want to be close to it. So bring a variety of snacks. I bought different snacks that didn't make a huge mess. These ones happen to be my daughter's favorite. And then these ones are really great because they don't cause any type of mess. Also, if you wanna bring maybe Cheerios or Puffs or maybe those baby Cheetos, that's what I call them, I don't even know what they're called, snack containers, your best friend, because you don't wanna have a ton of different huge containers taking up space in your diaper bag. Pouches, less space and so much easier. These, if you have teething babies, they don't make any type of mess and I love them because my kids get entertained and, and no mess, so get these. Speaking of messes, this is your tip number seven, disposables. These are disposable bibs. You don't wanna worry about cleaning up different type of things during the day. You've got enough to worry about. So disposable bibs, these work really great. You can get disposable mats. I ran out of them, so I don't have an example, but you can get these at Target or Amazon or a bunch of different places. Disposable diapers, also disposable mats. I use the Munchkin ones and they are really great. They're really nice and big. After you're done, you just throw it out. Done. Tip number eight, toys. I got these for a super amazing deal at Babies R Us. These are noisy toys, really noisy toys, but you're at least my kids, they love buttons. So the noisier, the better. And I wanted to be conscious about the people around me, but I think that they would rather have 
a calm baby and have to listen to a little bit of noise than have a screaming baby. So try to get new toys so that they will be surprised. I got all new toys for my kids. A lot of them are just teething toys or bath toys. Kids will be entertained with anything. Tip number nine would be an app. At least my kids really love nursery rhymes and super simple songs are their favorite. But we discovered these little bum nursery rhymes. It's an app and it will cost you I think $3 or $4. It's worth it. My kids absolutely love this and it saved me a couple of minutes, maybe 20 minutes of them just watching videos and laughing about them. So this app, highly recommended. I'll link it down below. Tip number 10 would be to hydrate. Try to stay hydrated because you're going to need it. And also snacks for mommy because mommies get hungry and they get hangry. So snacks for you. Remember to snack because you need the energy. And then finally, try to stay calm. Kids are going to cry. People know this. Try to ask for help if you can. At least my husband was able to take me up to the gate, which was really great because I didn't have to go through the whole airport alone. Flight attendants, some of them are really helpful and just want to be there for you. I had the experience of people just wanting to hold my babies. So you never know. I've also had the opposite happen where flight attendants were not having it and not wanting to help me, not nothing. So be aware of that. Some people just don't love babies and then some people are having a rougher day than you are. So try to remember that and just apologize if your baby cries or don't apologize. I mean, they're babies, so it's gonna happen. So these are my tips for flying either with an infant in arms, a toddler or multiples. In my case, it's always gonna be multiples. So I've traveled with infants and when they were toddlers. So this is what worked for my situation. I know there are probably variations you can do. There's also a lot of YouTube videos. If you are like myself, I saw a ton of videos. I hope you found this helpful. If you have other tips or recommendations, I would love it if you would comment them below. And if you liked this video or found it helpful, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you aren't a subscriber, I would love it if you consider subscribing. And if you are a subscriber, I'll see you soon. Bye.